possibly. And um, it, this one never felt like I was leaping into fantasy land, like it was hokey or like I was playing a vampire. It did, did really not naturally feel like the next step for her. And you know, for somebody like he said who has in the beginning a lot of walls up that you see just plowed over. It's, it's amazing that, that they're not rebuilt. By the end, she really is just this uh, very realized, really incredibly open, um, <coughs> disarming matriarch. And uh, yeah, I, it's, it's satisfying to watch people that you've been fighting and struggling with this whole series finally just like allowed to have it all and really sort of wallow in it, wallow in their happiness and fight for it again and in a more unified way. And, uh, I don't know, it feels good. Just, it's very satisfying. It's very gratifying because you always see her as a human being, from the beginning, with so many walls that she had built in her interior. But then I felt that the last part, the part 2, was a natural explosion. It was incredible, like, fantastic, that now I'm a vampire, but I felt that there was a part of this woman being realized in this matriarch. And that's why I felt that the last part of this woman being realized in this matriarch. And that's why I felt that the last part of this woman being realized in this matriarch. And that's why I felt that sin ningún temor, totalmente tranquila y confiada y, y que lucha por, por su felicidad, que lucha por su familia y además por hacer forma unida con la gente con la que, con la que ama y quiere ser. Pues muchísimo, muchísimo